Hi, in this video I will show you uh, the byproduct of the benefits of integrating uh, the Centrify server suite with the LDAP proxy to a uh, network attached storage, in this case the NetApp. Uh, in the previous videos we actually integrated everything and made sure that identities are consistent across the board. So um, uh, like you saw in the post, I basically created a group in AD and in this case it's called Mixed Shared Access. The only person that I have in this group at this point is Cosmo. I went and I shared the NetApp um, uh, uh, folder basically through this mixed share. And if you look at the share permissions, I have everybody that can read, but uh, mixed share access only allows uh, change for that for that particular um, folder. So that means you have to be a member of that group to be able to copy files. So let's ver verify that. Um, if I am, uh, in this case, I'm Jerry, if I want to create a file, and let's just call it, um, I, I don't have access to do it. From a Unix perspective, in my CentOS machine, I have already mounted this share from a, uh, an NFS perspective. So um, if I want to go and um, ask Cosmo, I want to go and touch a file, I could just, um, there's nothing in here, so I'll touch. Uh, a.txt and if I look at the file uh, descriptions in Unix notice that all, uh, Cosmo owns that file and if you, we can actually see his long UAD in here uh, another thing that we could do is go on the NetApp filer and issue a command so I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and try to log in And what I'm going to try to do is see what are the security descriptors in the uh, NetApp filer itself. So uh, I will be F security and then show and it will be vol, vol zero mixed and uh, the file is a.txt. Uh, notice here that from a, from a NetApp perspective, everything is consistent. It means that uh, from a Unix perspective, the owner is Cosmo with this UID in here, as you can see. And from a, a, an Active Directory perspective, uh, the owner is Cosmo, who's a member of the main users. So what that means is that if somebody else wants to go and maybe delete that file, they won't be able to do it. Um, Let's take a look in here on my Mac. So if I go again, the same pro, the same share, if I go and try to connect, I'm connected as Larry David here. So if I connect to that um, share, I can go to mix share or home. Notice that none of them allow me to connect because they don't have access. So if I go in here, I have this Larry David in here. And if I go to mix share and I want to drag and copy a file in here, I won't be able to do it. Uh, one thing that I did not do, I did not set up uh, properly the NFS portion, so I could actually map this drive uh, from an NFS perspective. So I'm going to go ahead and mount it. Um, right, so I've actually mount mounted it itself. If I go uh, if I want to go and delete Kramer's file, um, in this case, I'll be able to do it. So that's a deficiency. I should have been able to protect that from a Unix perspective, because now, um, you know, I, you know, I'm able to do it through Unix. In Windows, everything is happening fine. So for that, what I would do is um, I would go to my app one, and what I can do is Unix enable my uh, that group in AD. So all I need to do from some of the, you know, labs that we've done before is just uh, add it to a group. And in this case, it will be Unix. And then um, I could just do uh, all groups. So if, if I look at uh, Access Manager now and my groups, uh, you will see that there's basically only two, two groups at this point, Web Admin and DBA Admin. But if I, you know, I'm going to go ahead and run quickly my, my ZPA to make sure that things, I don't have to wait five minutes. That's the way I have it set up here. 
So some of you that follow the videos know that we have automatic provisioning for you groups and users. So now that I've done this, um, I should be able to see that mixed share access share. So uh, from this point on, um, uh, this group becomes available on Unix. So if I do uh, at first, let me do uh, uh, you know NAD flush, and if I do uh, get tent group, and then the name of the group is mix share access. Now I have uh, that group, and I could basically control uh, the access via secondary group memberships.